It's True Vault Escapades! That's right, the famous detective duo who solve case after case in post-nuclear Vegas are in for another mystery. Today's mysterious story, the case of the martyred Mothman. It's the early morning hours of the Mojave, and notorious gangster Gunny Babbitt waits patiently outside his mansion. From the horizon comes a caravan, led by a portly, well-dressed individual, whose men seem to be guiding some Brahmin who carry a large container of some sort. Gunny Babbitt, the man himself. Don Vincent, a pleasure as always. As always? <laughs> I can't help but tell the truth. I'd have wished this meeting and our last weren't so spaced out. You're right. We don't meet as often as we used to, but hey, you're clearly still on my books. True, true. <sighs> I gotta say this, though. I was expecting the usual kind of stuff we deal in. Not wildlife, or whatever they call this thing up there. Believe me, Don, I didn't get all this land trying to play boss and going crazy with it. I'm just a glorified middleman, and I'm happy with that. If anyone wants something from me, I'll get it to them. And that includes freakish beasts fit for the Black Lagoon? I've delivered weirder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Boys, wheel that freakish thing over here so we can drop it off. It's making me nervous. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That thing can't get out, can it? Nah, that's a pretty sturdy prison cell. Kept a whole pack of mutant hounds in there in our last run. You don't even need to worry about it wailing or anything. Doesn't do anything but flap around every once in a while. Well, as long as those hooded freaks can get this thing off my property in the morning, this won't be no different than any other exchange. Yep. Hope it stays that way. I, uh, I don't want to scare you, but these things ain't known for being... Passive. Hey, 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 oh, boys. Get that thing in check before it hurts itself. I don't plan on cutting my pay in half today. Hey! Uh, Don? Uh, uh d -d -d don't, 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 don't worry about it, Gunny. Uh, l l let me just, uh, <laughs> it, it hasn't acted this badly in a while. Hey, hey, I said get that thing... What the? It's broken out! No, no, no! No, don't, 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 don't let me get away! Hey, Don, I would... Oh, 
Oh, what the heck is that? All right, Walter. I'll be straight with you. So you be straight with me. Got it? I should be the one making that demand. I'm just saying, let's do this without any tricks. Just as discussed. There better not be a troop of NCR boys waiting behind those mountains. Just cut to the chase, Buster. We can get in a lot of trouble taking the time out of our day to meet with you. All right, all right. Early last evening, I met with a man named Don Vincent. You know him? Lowly fatso with his fingers in every criminal pie. What's so special about him? Word is, you used to run together. Yeah, well... The old days are just about over for me and the old cat. This had actually been our first meeting in quite some time. Not expecting any of you guys to mourn, but I'm afraid to say he's dead. Condolences, Babbitt. (laughs) Thanks. Perhaps you noticed the graves. So, was this done by people, or...? No. It was a freak accident. Done by the very thing I ordered for the client. So, a mutant? In all honesty, detectives... This thing falls under the category of the unknown. Here's the long and short of it. I've got some weird society fellas from the hills put in an order for a creature only known to the woods of West Virginia. Now, I understandably raised an eyebrow at first, but after paying me in advance the sum of a hundred thousand caps, I knew they weren't playing around. So, I put my tentacles out there and put some of that dough up to fund a hunting trip out that way. That's how I got back in contact with the Don. Thank goodness I linked up with the guy I actually knew. He just so happened to be stationed close by. Despite what happened, he seemed to prove reliable. That's correct. Unfortunately, you couldn't say the same thing about the box they caged that thing in. And what was this thing? (sighs) Look... We've all seen our fair share of post-nuclear nuisance and all. But have you ever heard of a Mothman before, you two? A Mothman? (gasps) Why, yes. I haven't heard that name in a long time. You're actually telling me those are real, too? Am I out of the loop on something? I wouldn't put it past this world. But I can't pretend this is the most realistic creature. I'm telling you, it's real. Trust me. I was thinking the same thing before, but when I saw it break free and slaughter everyone and try to kill me, all my speculation went away. Hello? The Mothman. A mythological, once mythological creature based out of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I used to read about all kinds of cryptids back in the vault in my free time. I couldn't give you a whole definition of the thing because all of its encounters are so vague. But it's some kind of moth mixed with a man. Hmm. Anyway, all I've heard was that it predicted horrible tragedies. I heard the stories, too. But get this. He ain't no diamond in the rough anymore. There's tons of them out there in the West Virginia hills. Just pouncing on fellas in the dark. Don't ask me how. Because I didn't really care to check. They're still pretty rare to come by, let alone to catch. Yeah, and alive at that. (sighs) Wow. Who are these guys? The cultists? I don't know. But apparently they worship the things. Why they're here is anybody's guess. I'm a gangster, detectives. But I have a heart enough to know that we're all better off without that thing in the atmosphere. You said you had some information for us? Seeing as we're in agreement here... This is the information whoever their leader is gave to me. Don was expected to drop this thing off with me, and I would send my own caravan to deliver the goods. Thanks. Hmm. This is pretty remote. (laughs) Even for a place like the Mojave. Explains how they've been able to operate like this. We'll do what we can, and don't expect a runaround. We'll stick to our word. 
Exterminating some cryptid means a lot more than nabbing a non-violent criminal. I'll leave you to it then. And, uh, thanks. Before we go, did you notice anything on the cultists we should be aware of? Nothing much, beside the fact that they were wearing robes and hoods that completely darkened their faces. Had a strange symbol on them, too. Thinking about it now, I'm pretty sure it was the Mothman. Hmm. Another thing, guys. Goofy as these weirdos may have looked, they were confident. That kind of confidence you get when you know something good's coming. Watch yourself, you two. So your contact wants us to meet him in broad daylight, in the middle of one of the most busy times of the day? And Freeside of all places? You'll find that discussing matters in this way keeps you a lot safer than trying for some dank alleyway in the middle of the night. Hiding in plain sight, huh? I get it. That's correct. He should meet us at the restaurant just across the street in a minute. We're just waiting for a signal. Okay, that's him waving in the window there. Let's go. So, this guy is a trusted source? Oh, Lou? Yeah, he's a pretty good egg. Haven't corresponded with him in a while, but he's never let me down. Oh, yeah? What's the charge? Caps, cams, or booze. Poor guy used to be a full-time explorer. Spent his whole life buying and trading until Lady Luck left him. How oh, sad. So he just does recon now? That, and theft and spying. The word has it, he got so desperate at the end of his glory years that he turned to grave robbing, wound up grifting the corpse of a new Reno crime boss's wife. Sheesh, I'm surprised he's still breathing. Could have gotten away with it. He scoped out the burial service until everyone left and got to work that same night. He was on his way to making off with the biggest diamond ring you've ever seen on a woman, until some of the family members caught him in the act. Kind of his own fault for downing a bottle of vodka before he did it. He's this way, come on. Lou, how are you, buddy? It's been ages. Ah, the man of the hour. Ah, and who is this? This is my partner, Bunny. Been together long before we moseyed on into town. We've got the same amount of brains, but she's a better shot, if you can believe it. <laughs> how do you do? Just fine, just fine. All right, you two, sit down. I've already ordered us coffee. So, Walter tells me you're pretty good. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> well, I can't exactly vouch for myself being the best anymore, can I? <laughs> Don't devalue yourself, Lou. For what we're asking for, only the greats can pull that off. <laughs> well, still, I may have found the place pretty easy, but they almost scoped me out. Uh-oh. Losing our edge, are we? Or are they just really cognizant? The last one, it was off the beaten path a little ways, so I did all my usual recon and mapping. When I found them, whatever they are, I got a good look at their setup. Somehow, though, they got a whiff of me, and I was forced to book it. Jeez, they must know every square inch of that area. Yeah, no kidding. When I found them, they were wearing the most ridiculous robes and hoods you've ever seen. Had strange symbols on them, too, reminiscent to the Mothman. So this Mothman, tell us about it, will you? I'm afraid my knowledge about it is a bit antiquated. Yeah, we should definitely get all the info we can on this beast before we move in. Well, I'm afraid that's the beauty of this mysterious little club. They probably know more about that thing than anybody else ever could. 
However, I'm a little bit rattled on what the heck that could be. I was able to pick up a few murmurings from those guys out there, and it was uh, indistinguishable in a weird way. You know what I mean? You know, like some of those undead cacklings you hear from the ghouls in the underground metro tunnels. Anything regarding the origins? This doesn't come off as your usual rare mutation, like your Morat Queen or Deathclaw Alpha. Nah, cryptids are in a category all their own. <laughs> I'm assuming you know these come from West Virginia, correct? I've heard it's a beautiful place, but it's bad juju up there, according to the rumors. Are there lots of cryptids up there? Yeah, you name it. Mega sloths, flatwood monsters, the beasts of Grafton. And don't even get me started on what they call regular mutants out there. That armpit's a wasteland of its own. Anything else? Anything you know about its behavioral patterns? Nothing much, but catch this. The only thing I understand about the Mothman legend is that there's only known to be one far before the Great War. Now there seems to be tons of them. This cult may be crazy, but they've somehow managed to gain control. Or some sort of kinship from these beings. The data still remains vague, but we wouldn't have the data at all if it wasn't for those courageous vault dwellers from Vault 76. I thought I would bring these along. Wow, these are authentic? Yes, ma'am. Real pictures. I recovered with the help of a few old friends that show more of the bizarre practices of the Mothman cult. All of them originally taken by the 76ers over time. Wild, right? Wow, these are pretty freaky. Looks like ten hooded cultists standing directly in front of the thing, and it didn't attack? Nope. It's like the thing likes to be praised. And look at this one. They're in the middle of freaking sacrificing some poor girl on a stone. Say what you want. These killers don't mess around about their deity. And since they're somewhat hard to get their hands on, I'd like to feel safe in expecting a little extra dough on my side. Is that right, Mr. Camry? Yeah, yeah. I'll make you a cake with it, too. Uh, can we keep these? Yeah, sure. Just be sure to frame them when you're done. Ah, those are real treasures there. Thanks. Well, that leaves us with a lot to look forward to. I'll pray for you both out there. I've toyed around with my share of wasteland weirdos, but this one, I'd let them keep their stuff. Thanks, Lou. I guess with that, we'll be off. I've got this big bag of caps here and a 12-pack. can throw in two bottles of whiskey if that can count as your bonus. <laughs> Thanks, Walter. That sounds great. Oh, and those coordinates. You got them, right? Oh, that's right. Here. I've even drawn out the best path to... What was that? Walter, look! It's him! It's the Mothman! Is that what it looks like? It's huge! Duck down! Everybody! Ah! Is everyone okay? Yeah. Gosh, what was that? Some kind of sonic attack. I don't know. Look, you guys need to go. If you don't put a stop to these cultists right now, we might as well get used to these ambushes. What about you? Don't worry about me. Get your car. Get moving. I'll distract it while you go. Now move. Move. Come on, Bunny. Right behind you. There it goes. It's up in the air again. This is our chance. Okay, guys, go. Come on, come on. Walter, what is it? <clears throat> Darn car won't start. Oh, no. Duck down. He's coming back around. Okay, he's gone. 
Hurry, try again. Come on. Dang it. Come on. I think he's coming back for seconds. Ha, <laughs> that did it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Wait! Wait, Walter! It's Lou! Lou, what is it? We have to go. Uh, wait, take this. It's the directions to their lair. You have to follow the route, or you're already done for. Thanks, Lou. Now get yourself to safety. Our bullets aren't keeping this thing away. All right. Remember, don't underestimate these guys. We know that now. And another thing. Stay away from the... He's gone, Bunny. Hold on, and keep an eye out for me. Battle of Los Angeles all over again. I just don't know if we'll be able to fend this thing off, though. We can't even use all our missiles here. We have to keep a certain amount of artillery reserved for the Legion. Ugh, no way they could be smart enough to produce a hell spawn like this. Calm down, Humphreys. It's not the Legion, nor is it even from the Mojave. It's a West Virginia cryptid. In fact, they're pretty common up there. <sighs> I know. And people live up there still? With respect. It's no different than any of the unique creatures we have to deal with down here. Bah! Nothing here in Nevada can compare to freakish fairy tale creatures like that. Uh, so, you say it's this cult? Yes. Supposedly a handful of them migrated to some of the woodsy areas in the north, where they'll be more safely tucked away. And that's why you sent us the map, right? From your friend? Indeed. Rest his poor soul. Good. This is the kind of immediate action we need in times like these. I've assembled a team of crackshot troopers to follow your exact lead on this cult. After we did some recon, we finally found high levels of activity deep in those woods. I wanted to go scouting there ourselves, but Walter insisted we bring this to you. I was close, Bunny, but determined going in there blind wasn't the best decision. It wasn't as if we were going to attack the place yet. Just get a good reading of everything, a head count, types of weapons being used, then we pounce on the place. Nah, Walter's right on this one, Bunny. With my team of experts put together, they can have that place scouted and attacked in the soup. Maybe then we can get the M.O. on the Mothman. What? Yeah. I mean, I didn't call them crack shots for nothing. I'm freeze. They were specifically supposed to be scouting the place. Yes, I thought we made that very clear. Huh? Yeah. We gave you the map to have your men find a safer passage to the cult and simply bring back intelligence, not lay in on the place. Oh, don't fret, you two. The plan is to exterminate the group as soon as possible and recover whatever artifacts or devices they use to keep in contact with that flying demon they praise so highly. That way... If the Mothman will be isolated and alone, with no support, it should be easier to take it down the good old-fashioned way. No, we don't know that. Please, tell me there's time to call them off. Oh, I'm afraid not, boyos. But please, come. It may be a little against regulation, but let's listen in as they do their work. I'm not liking this. Trust me, bud. In a little while, this will be a disturbing distant memory. I'm only concerned about how exactly we can locate the flying monster after this. <sighs> I'll keep my fingers crossed, but I don't like it.
Sergeant Axis, what is the current status of you and your team? Hey, okay, sir. We are on location and converging the waypoint. I'm here with Dameron, Laurel, and Carlin. Happy to hear. Keep your eyes open and listen in for any wings flapping. Based on the reports, cutting off the head of this operation will send the cryptid into disarray. We can stand a better chance against this thing without any coordinated puppet strings attached. Yes, sir, you can count on us. Godspeed, boys. You folks have never let me down. Did we get a particular appearance report? No, just that they'll be dressed like any other cultists you have in mind. Thick robes, hoods, etc. Nothing else. Any history on these guys? Not much. These guys come from Old West Virginia folklore. Apparently you don't know Jack unless you're from that area. Guess we're in for a surprise then. Keep your head on your shoulders. No way these weirdos can be any worse than the Legion. Even if they do have a giant flying insect. Shh, stop. I think I see something. Okay. Weapons ready, everyone. If I'm not mistaken, there's a bunch of them there in that clearing. Dameron Laurel, take the right side. Carlin, provide aerial cover in that tree there. Just in case, I'll approach. Oh my gosh! Oh, fire right there! It just took Dameron. We've been spotted. Regroup, man! Regroup! We're being stalked! <gasps> Did you see the size of that thing? It just took him! It just took him off his face! Hey, get a hold of yourselves! We've got company incoming! How many are there? I thought there was only a few. Don't get caught up in the fluff, gentlemen. This could be part of some kind of trickery. <sighs> hey! Don't fire unless you see something! I thought I did. Call on 11 o'clock! One is coming out of trees! Ah! Uh! 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 Carlin! Uh! the place! Stay with me, Laurel! Laurel, no! You... You monsters are dead. No. Oh, no. Kill me. Kill you? <laughs> Please. You're already dead. Wait! Wait! No! We'll return to our mystery after this. True Vault Escapades has a sizable radio mod available now in Fallout 4. Look for True Vault Escapades on Bethesda.net or Nexus Mods today and listen to over 30 hours of Walter and Bunny's famous mysteries during your travels in the Commonwealth. Download today! And now, back to our story. We've received no further contact from Sergeant Axis and his squad. It is believed all were KIA on their way to the camp. 
Ambush, most likely. We weren't sure of the unidentified voice speaking to the sergeant, but it is believed they may be a leader of some sort. Since then, there was an unfortunate attack by the creature known as the Mothman in the outer Vegas ruins. As I speak, New Vegas detectives and NCR assets Walter Camry and Bunny are preparing their own assault on the camp, despite my efforts to deter them from this decision. I suppose it's best not to risk more soldiers in this new conflict. Lieutenant Terence Humphreys, over and out. You got the special ammo, Bunny? Right here. Some incendiary rounds, too. The better for flammable robes. Good thinking. I'll just pack some extra food here. Oh, please, fellas. I I've already got the weight of the men I just sent to their deaths fresh on me. The last thing I want is a couple more. We feel the same way, Humphreys. Don't let it get you down. You were just doing your job, despite our warning against it. The one thing you proved is that dancing around the situation isn't going to get us anywhere. This cult is as openly hostile and bloodthirsty as the cryptid they protect so dearly. We won't go in guns blazing, but we'll definitely try to get in there covertly. Mm. But I- Try not to beat yourself up over it, Lieutenant. Sometimes you test the waters and it's not as nice as you want. Let me and Bunny do our thing, and see if we can at least put a stop to their leader covertly. We're specialists in this sort of thing. I don't know if I have the best feeling about this. Maybe we can instead go talk to the- You have the jeep all gassed up and ready to go, right? Not like we'll be taking that noisy thing into the woods, but we'll park it right outside. You know, just in case anything goes wrong. Well, that's what I'm afraid of! Take a coffee break, Lieutenant. You look all defeated. <sighs> One moment. I don't totally agree with you. We'll ping our location once we get there. Goodbye. Jeepers. I haven't seen this much woods, well, in my life. There's almost so vegetation that you can expect an owl or, or birds chirping in the distance. The light fog hovering above the ground only adds to the eeriness of this place. Gee, read me a whole novel while you're at it. Sorry, sorry, just... <sighs> a girl has to take sights like this in, you know? All this nature, even despite the circumstance. I should take you to Jacobstown one of these days. Mr. New Vegas says it used to be a ski lodge back in its day. Has a lot of friendly super mutants populating it now. <laughs> There's even snow. Snow? Wow. Who knew this desert would have so many slices of happiness? Don't be fooled. Besides Jacobstown, there really are no slices of happiness, including this place. You do know we're hunting an invasive species with a gang of lunatics protecting it, right? Yes, I know. I can only hope those gangsters who drove it down here are happy. Maybe it didn't get to their client, but they darn sure had some people who were more than glad to take it off their hands. <gasps> Walter, what is that? Don't know, but by the looks of it, maybe a body? Oh my gosh, is that who I think it is? Yeah. It's the sergeant, I believe. Look, there's something driven in his back. Looks like a big knife. Let me see. <clears throat> Nasty blade. See those jagged edges? Yeah. Yeah. I've only seen these used by more of the rare cults out here in the wasteland. These folks definitely ain't some startup group. They're organized. This type of weapon's main use is for sacrifices. Last time I checked. Sacrifices for the Mothman. Great. Do you think it took Lou all the way out here? Lou? Nah, doubt it. I can only hope you're wrong, though. The thought of that thing grabbing people up to potentially feed babies is sickening. Yeah, let's not speak that into truth. Come on, let's flip him over. The least we can do is gather his dog tags and return it to the next of kin. Alright, good idea. Here we go. <clears throat> 
Golly. <laughs> the look on his face. He's horrified. <sighs> Yikes. And this definitely wasn't a sneak attack. He knew what was happening to him. Poor fella. We're dealing with a different type of animal here, Walter. For a random cult to... <clears throat> what was that? <clears throat> My neck. Walter? What hit you? Po poison dart. B Bunny, r run! Walter? Walter! Who's out there? Perhaps I'm thankful that the prey will never learn. Running, hiding, fighting back. All fruitless efforts under the gaze of the Mothman. You made a great effort, though. <sighs> Bunny? Bunny! Walter? Walter? Where are you? I can't see you. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. We're tied back to back to some kind of wooden pole. Looks as though we're about to be worshipped or eaten by these people, since they were so kind to bring us to the middle of their camp. But I fear it's the latter. <sighs> Gosh, it... It looks like a scene straight out of the Grognak book. Oh, Walter, what are they going to do to us? Nothing good, that's for sure. And you see up there? Up on top of that cliff? Oh my. That's right. The cryptid himself. Perched up there without a care in the world. These cultists have an amazing pull over this thing. It's not even moving. Just... Looking at us. Well, whatever the reason, it's looking at us. I'm not liking the way these hooded freaks are dancing. Gosh, look, that's the leader. How do you know? They didn't get me like they got you. I was strung upside down in a tree trap, and he was the one talking to me before I passed out. Notice the markings on his cloak? Ah, well, I wonder what deserved us the honor. Not many of those who've stood in our way have been as tedious as the whelps in this wasteland. <laughs> We've faced many a foe in our land of origin. Many of our camps and strongholds were lost in the conflicts. But we've always survived. We've always had sanctuary to run to. Thanks to the holy Mothman. We knew the western part of this country would be a culture shock, if you will. <laughs> but I must say, not even we could predict such quick hostilities. Not very neighborly, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Reuben Darkwing. Chieftain of our chapter. A pleasure to meet those who've gotten so close without dying. <laughs> nice to meet you, Rube. We appreciate the formal introduction. Yeah, very nice of you. In fact, could you continue the kindness by unraveling these ropes here? Walter and I seem to be tangled here, you see. Ah, funny. Now why should I do that, considering the two of you were trespassing? What's this all about, Rube? Why have you been terrorizing the innocent people of the Mojave, huh? Innocent? Innocent? Look around, you blind one. In only a mere week, we've discovered the forces who reign over this territory consist of two ruthless military powers and a city that drains the soul of any stragglers fortunate enough to escape the gunfire. This is simply me speaking on your level of morality. In all truth, you two... 
all outsiders to the Mothman are nothing more than prey. Wait, a week ago? You were anticipating a Mothman to break loose in the Mojave? Keen here, my darling. Yes. I called for an early journey from West Virginia to this desert. Supposedly, for the first time ever, the live transport of our master was to take place between two gangsters in the coming months. The fact that our great one allowed himself to be taken alive in these conditions was unorthodox, so I communicated with him for answers, as I always do. To our delight, the Mothman had chosen this action to further our cause. To spread his influence all over the wasteland. I see. Yes, good sir. And to make this happen seamlessly, we must take all measures we can to ensure our process isn't disrupted. And you really think just by terrorizing anyone you can with this monster, you'll somehow get favor from it? What the heck else does it do besides killing people anyway? He gives us wisdom, guidance, and enlightenment over those who would see his gift squandered. But please... Don't take his feeding as some kind of lustful gain. He needs all the prey he can to nourish the hatchlings. Hatchlings? So that's what this is all about. Yes. I'm sure you've heard stories about our presence in our native land. But now we have reached a time where his mighty influence will encompass the entirety of the wasteland. Starting here, no one shall escape his collective might. I don't know what all you have standing in your way back in West Virginia, but there's no way you can overpower the resistance you'll face here. Mr. House's laser cannons, the NCR artillery, they'll blast your bug-eyed master right out of the sky. We are not the children of Adam, dear boy. We have strategies, and before long, there will be no defenses left to fire upon us after your two armies decimate each other over that foolish dam. In fact... That will leave us with a lot of free bodies to take home with us. And you, girl. And you, girl. The opportunity to kill a vault dweller again? Do you know the damage your kind has inflicted upon my ancestors? I shall find this more than satisfactory. You'll never get away with this. I already have. Happening. Looks like they're about to start the show. Whatever that is. My brothers and sisters of the mighty Mothman, we have found yet two more interlopers of our humble fold who intend to murder the only means of his influence taking any form in the Mojave Wasteland. For this crime, instead of condemning them to a quick death like most prey, we shall watch in enjoyment as the Wise One feasts upon their bodies, alive. I hope you have a way out of this, Walter. I can get a headshot many yards away from shooting at the hip, but I don't have as many gadgets as you do. (laughs) They patted me down good, Bunny. Even did away with my hidden knives and razors. If that Darkwing guy was right about anything, it's that they aren't stupid. Oh, no. Gosh, no. Look away, Bunny. Kick it if you have to. Kick it as hard as you can. How did they find us? In the name of the new California Republic, I hereby sentence each and every last one of you cultists to death! Open fire! In the name of the mighty Mothman, kill them all! Kill them all! Cut the man 
and woman free over there. They come with me. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Get up here in the jeep, Walter and Bunny. Let my men handle this. We need to get back to McCarran. You've got it. <sighs> Let's get out of here! got a better handle on the situation when the reports came in. The majority of the cultists were taken out, but we lost more than half of the squadron in the process, mainly to the Mothman itself. I've never seen a vertebrate go down that fast either. Gosh, we're thankful you came when you did, Humphreys. We were this close to being the Mothman's next meal. Yeah. How did you know where to find us? Superior New California Tech, of course. We're serious. Ah, just joshing you. Nah, truth is, I was worried after telling me you both were taking a swing at the cultists. So I brought it up with the higher-ups to consider staging a raid. They said okay as long as you guys got caught and gave us an excuse. Well, thank you for the assist. We owe you a tall one after this. That you do. But hey, one of our scouts overlooking the whole thing had a disturbing report to tell. Do you guys know about the eggs? Yes, and that leader of theirs, Rube told us about his plan to make these things relevant here in the Mojave. That's right. Even if one of those hatchlings makes it out of those eggs, the chances of stopping the spread of them decreases massively. We may have given the cult of the Mothman a strong left hook, but if we don't hit it right in the heart this time, we can hardly call this a victory. That's right, detectives. And unfortunately, we weren't able to even get close to those buggers before we pulled out of the scene. You know, even I hate to admit the NCR operates in the name of its own interests sometimes. But thank goodness you guys are considered to be so, or they may have turned down my request. Thing is, though, that thing and its worshippers spilled too much blood ahead of the Hoover Dam conflict. So we've been tasked to handle this ourselves. What? Did they not see the amount of bullets it took before decimating them? Why isn't the NCR rolling out the heaviest artillery they can get their hands on right now? Do they really think it's not lazy and a little dismissive of them to just throw us back into that loony bin? I mean, what else can we throw at them that the NCR hasn't in that raid? Don't worry. All Uncle Humphreys formulated a plan. Huh? Well, I thought... Since you guys were so brave to try and intercept the lair of the Mothman on your lonesome, I've been granted access to some of the army's biggest toys. This being one of them. Wow. Calm now, Humphreys. You really expect us not to take out the whole region with that thing? It's strong, yes. It's extremely dangerous to operate, yes. But if that winged beast has the capacity to take hundreds of bullets and feels comfortable enough to attack some of New Vegas' most populated areas, we need to approach it with the exact same measures. Don't worry, I'll be the one to operate it. And I've already done the thinking for the both of you. Uh Uh-oh. I... I... Okay, so let's say we just waltz back in there with that thing and the Mothman is already there to pounce on us. How do we get it as far away as humanly possible? Easy. Remember, I've thought through it all on the way back. It involves all three of us separated in the camp. A sniper rifle and a flare gun. Oh boy. You two bicker about who does what, but the one with the flare gun needs to be positioned as close to the eggs as possible. Remember, the eggs need to be eradicated before anything. I have a small charge for one of you to plant in the nest. So, what do you say, Walter? We draw straws? (sighs) You 
see the Mothman? No Mothman inside. Good. Plant the bomb and scramble the eggs as quick as possible. Bunny, how's your vision up there with the sniper? Crystal. But I don't like this silence, you two. Best take those eggs out before he catches on. Got it. No sign of cultists? Nope. Just their bodies everywhere. A few of them with NCR troopers. Let's not add ourselves into the mix with them, eh? All right. Eggs in the scramble in three, two, one. Eggs scrambled. No need to worry about little mothlings anymore. That is until he finds a way to lay eggs again. Let's not worry about that now. Now we wait for the source of all them eggs. I don't think we gotta wait. Yet, but I can tell he smells me. Lieutenant, when can we fire that flare? As soon as he positively sees Walter, go ahead and open fire on it, Detective. Might as well not stretch our luck. Opening fire on it now. Get yourself into some new cover, Bunny. Got it. Come on, you winged freak. I already hated you guys when you were small. doing over there, Walter? Good. But I'm ready for you to give me the order to fire this flare and get this thing away from me. All right, then. If our guns won't do anything, we've got something even better for us. Fire the flare! Firing the flare. There he goes. Mods can never resist a good light. Now it's time to give this guy the brightness of nuclear power. Get me the fat man now! How's your view over there, Walter? My creature really took the bait. Walter? Oh my. Humphreys! Humphreys! Huh? Walter's just been attacked by Rube. I'm looking at him. He's headed your way down the cliff right now. What? He's still alive? Ugh. Take him out, quickly. Remember, we can't let that Mothman lose interest and come back. On it. Gosh, he runs fast in that robe. He must be on at least ten shots of jet. Mm. Dang it. He's far too quick. One more shot. Oh no. Out of ammo. Humphreys! Look out! He's coming right at you! Huh? Oh no. I'm coming! You shall never manipulate his grace again. You hear me? You have set us back by months with your fiendish attempts and murdering his divine unborn children. No punishment is good enough for you. None! How's that feel, Mr. Darkwing? You really think your puny pistol is enough to remove me, you vile wench? <coughs> As chieftain of the sect, 
My faith in undying loyalty protects me from death. You see it before you, yet you don't tremble where you stand. I sure didn't protect the dozens of dead men I see around you. Or maybe that's because you hog the chem supply all for yourself. That puts an end to the leash. Now I need to kill the beast. Guess it's just you and me now, huh? Okay. Looks like I only have one shot at this. Come on. Just a little more. Gotcha! Walter? Humphreys? <sighs> Jeez, Bunny. Thanks for the rescue. Yeah, that darn creature must have knocked me out so bad. I don't even remember the nuclear explosion just above my head. You have impeccable aim, girl. Guess we need to grease up our fat man's supply. We don't need them jamming up like that again in front of the Legion. Huh, well, it was actually the lugging you both away that proved the hardest of all. When I couldn't wake you up immediately... I resorted to dragging you both at the same time by foot until I was in range of contacting the NCR again. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to believe some folks say nothing happens out here in the Mojave. I've heard of transporting mutants before, but nowhere near as wacky as this. Monsters, ambushes, cults? I'd prefer this region to worry about one thing at a time if that's too much to ask. There's already enough anxiety about Hoover Dam as it is. <laughs> Oh, don't kid yourself, Humphreys. You know the NCR would love to have control over a creature like that. Just like the Enclave does with death claws sometimes. <laughs> I don't think I'm hiding it. Have we been able to hold that thing down and rewire its brain somehow? I'd personally order it to pick up Kaiser himself and drop him like a hawk does a rabbit. <laughs> okay, control freak. Don't start getting any bright ideas for the brass. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What is it, Bunny? Why do you look so glum all of a sudden? You just saved the day. Not just for us, but for the entire Mojave Wasteland. It's not anything that's particularly relevant here, but... Well, it's something about the Mothman himself. What? Do you think it survived? No, no. Nothing like that. I'm sure you know how much Walter likes to criticize my following of the supernatural and the unknown. <laughs> Well, you win this one today, Bunny. Had you told me about this creature just last week, I would have called you crazy, like I've called you crazy about other things that turned out to be true. In this case, this is something you'll just have to wait and see, and all the while crossing your fingers. The Mothman is centered around a lot of theories out there, but none more prevalent than the warning of some kind of catastrophe. A catastrophe? You mean like the one we just went through? If that's the case, the Mothman created his own catastrophe. Not exactly. I recall reading about many cases in my cryptid books here and there that described it as some kind of harbinger of death instruction. Something that will happen in the near future. What do you mean, Bunny? You're saying something's gonna happen soon? Well, I hope not. But this is where I direct things more towards you, Humphreys. With the way the war reports are going... Hoover Dam is just around the corner. We know that. And we're mighty prepared, don't you worry. We're exploring every possible avenue to ensure we can handle an even greater force of Legion. 
Oh, I'm not in doubt of the NCR's capabilities at all. But all I know is that this means it's not going to be pretty. Or easy. At least not as easy as you may think. I understand. And I'll be sure to take that to heart. I suppose we already knew that. But what's the word we've witnessed these past couple of days only compounds our worries. You guys may be helpful enough already. But I know you won't be at the dam when the time comes. Wouldn't recommend it, either. I wouldn't stress about it now, Lieutenant. Bad omen or not, we were able to stand up against a Mothman today. And if you ask me, that raises the bar pretty high. The Case of the Martyred Mothman was written and produced by Preston Hardin, edited and mixed by Ethan Walsh. Walter Camry was played by Eric Huffman, Bunny by Crystal Romero, Lieutenant Humphreys by Philip Sacramento, Lou by Patrick Jaxus Conway, Rube Darkwing by Roxanne Fleetwood, Gunny Babbitt, Private Damron and Laurel by Mike Tyson, Don Vincent by Joshua L. Belmonte, Private Axis by Wyatt Henry, and Private Carlin by Austin Rogers. This episode was made possible by our wonderful A-Bomb Radio patrons. To Joel Jackal, Michael D. Batkew, Mike Tyson, The Donnie Difference, Don McCormack, Brandon Cullison, Jorge Vega, Richard Villa, Hodgepodge the Cardboard Wolf, Jackson Little, Slogon, Van Hoffenheimer, Joseph Washer, Dean Calipoy, Joshua Riley, Desmond Irons, Undercover Squirrel, Jordan Dickey, Austin M., Jonathan LaRue, Rage Quit Jackson, and our most recent returning member, Lost Paws Jr. We thank you immensely for your continued support. Consider joining our dear listener tier to join this wonderful list of supporters in each new episode. All members are treated to exclusive behind-the-scenes content, sneak peeks, and exclusive merch. Find us over at patreon.com slash abomradio to get started. Be sure to write and review this podcast wherever you are listening. Each one helps us a ton. And most importantly, stay tuned right here for our next episode. You've been listening to a Robots Radio podcast. Smart shows for interesting people. Check out all the shows at robotsradio.net.